Accessible tourism is about giving people with disabilities the same joy of travel and experiences that someone without a disability has. Whether it be a neurological or a physical disability, everyone should be able to have a break. Uh, and apart from that, it actually makes good business sense. I'm Kerry Williams. Um, I'm the founder of two websites, Accessible Accommodation and Accessible Experiences. The reason I started the business was because of my mum. Uh, on multiple travel trips, we always had to find accommodation in particular that was accessible, and we had enormous difficulty with it. The catalyst being in Tasmania, where I thought I'd asked all the right questions about mum being able to get in the shower, and we only got there to find that the shower was not accessible. And I just thought that that is not good enough. Uh, it has to change. And so I set about doing something about it. 19% of Australians have a disability and 25% of Australians are retirees. As they age, their need for accessibility grows. So before you know it, you've got almost half of the Australian population needing some form of accessibility at some time in their lives. Also, if a family member or a, a group member traveling has a disability, the primary decision will be finding their accommodation first. So by harnessing accessible tourism, you're not only helping people with disabilities have a great stay, but you're also uh, attracting a larger audience of groups and family members. It can be surprisingly simple to do, and you don't have to do it all at once. And even if you just start, for example, ensuring you have ramps where there are steps. A very small step is a mountain to a person in a wheelchair, and so if you even consider those points of how to access your, the building or your premises, you're already giving consideration to people with disabilities. My mantra is that accessibility can be beautiful as well as accessible. There are many ways to achieve that. Nowadays, there are grab rails, for example, in beautiful brushed copper, gold, black. You can make it really stunning. And uh, it does not need to remind a guest that they are in a hospital environment. People with disabilities spend disproportionately higher number of times in hospitals than people without. The last thing they want is to feel like they're in a sterile hospital environment. For a business who wants to start, uh, I've got a couple of tips. The first is that a person with a disability simply want accurate information so that they can determine whether a place or venue suits their mobility needs. The second thing I discovered is that businesses are often too fearful to uh, say they're accessible or even promote themselves on their websites as accessible for fear that they might not be good enough and for fear they might have a bad review. It's on, often a misperception. When I have a look at their premises, I'm surprised that in most cases they can and only minor modifications are needed. As a business, you have the potential to bring a joyful travel experience to someone with a disability, as well as harnessing the revenue this booming sector brings.